Hello everybody, my name is Julie and this is a Modular Me pattern system video and today I'm going to be showing you how to stitch the darts on your top. So you can see I've got here in front of me um, a front that I've already cut out and these are the two little snips into the side seams where the tips of the dart come out and there's my pin and protocol is first point of entry is the point that you're marking. So what I'm going to do now is fold this and I'm going to lift it up off the table I'm going to fold the fabric on that point and then I'm going to also extend out to the other end. Helps if you lift it up and then pop it down there like that. You make sure everything stays lined up, which it has, which is great. And then I'm just going to pop a couple of pins to hold everything in place. Probably about three or four pins along the length of that, like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch from the side seam out towards the tip of the dart. Please don't ever try and stitch a dart by starting at the tip and working back to the end. It's really, really hard to get it to sit really beautifully and look very, very professional. Now, the easiest way to create the line, your stitching line, is to grab a ruler and a chalk pencil and put both ends on the points that you're going to begin and end, and you're gonna go back with your pencil and Put some lines in between. I wouldn't suggest you do this with um, like a lead pencil because it may leave, well, it'll leave marks. The beauty of a chalk pencil is that, or sometimes called a tailor's pencil, those chalk marks will actually wash off. So that's a technique for you. You can start at the end here. We're going to back stitch and then stitch all the way to the tip. If you don't have a tailor's pencil, you can actually use a piece of masking tape or painter's tape. So you, or I guess you could even use sticky tape if you wanted to. I prefer masking tape and painter's tape. They tend to adhere a little bit better. But if you were to do that, see how straight away you've created a stitching line. Be careful to keep your stitching actually on the fabric, not on the tape, if that's the technique you're going to use. Anyway, I'll pull that off. And what I'm going to do now is take this to the sewing machine, and then I'm going to show you how we stitch the dart. So pop it in there. As I said, we're going to do a little back stitch at the beginning. I am going to take my pins out as I go. I'm not a big fan of stitching over pins. I'm going to slow down, take out the pin, keep stitching, and see I'm heading towards my tip. And I'm going to watch where I'm going. Now, please note, what I'm going to explain to you what I'm actually going to do, and then it'll make more sense. I am not going to stop and back stitch at the point of this pin. You will end up most times with a, a lumpy tip at the end of your dart, which is not a good look. We want it to be very, very smooth and very sheer. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to stitch right off the material. But the minute I'm off the material, I'm going to stop. You don't want to have a great long chain of sort of um, knotted together thread. So you can see what's happening. I'm just going to slow down. I can see that I'm almost in line. You can see the pin there where I'm going to pull that out. I've visually made a record of that's where I'm stitching to. And see how I've just fallen off the edge of the material. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut off some nice tails like that. And then you go back. This is as simple as can be, this technique. I'm going to go back there. You can see how those threads are a bit twisted together. If you stitch too far, you've got lots of untwisting to do. Get them back to the point where they're not um, twisted together. And then you're just going to tie a couple of knots in the end of that like that to secure that. Then you're going to go back to the scissors, you grab your scissors, and you just cut those off fairly short. And what you'll find you've got on the other side is a beautiful, even, smooth tip on the end of your dart.